Okay, very interesting. Yes. Personally, I never heard about the the, the NGO. Um, <laughs> however, um, it might it might have been at the same time that you were organizing this this NGO, so <laughs> it was yes. still in, the, in its early phases. Yes. However, I remember taking up uh, a short course, a degree plus course about public speaking. Aha. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. And I forgot the in, uh, the name of the individual who delivered the course. But you might actually know him. Um, I'm not sure, but you can tell uh, me after. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a, have a certificate some, somewhere at of home. Of course, degree plus uh, gives yes. certificates. Yes. So I'm not sure whether there is the name of the trainer who delivered the course, um, but yeah, he was a was a young chap with a with a ponytail. I, I remember. Oh, the okay. Probably not Maltman then. We, d- we never had anyone with a ponytail. I think. <laughs> I can't recall, but probably not Maltman. Not sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a, it was a good experience. Yes. I mean. Um, as we were discussing before, I was uh, um, uh, I was quite shy at the, uh, during those years, but I think um, that experience of public speaking um, helped me a lot. Um, it's helping me a lot in the present as well. Yeah, and your job is public speaking. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it so feels I, like private speaking, but <laughs> <you don't know. laughs> it's public speaking. Next time we'll do it live. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Honestly, no problem. No problem. I love. I love it. I've always. El mami said lizatat, which which in English tr- translates to probably I don't know. I don't know what it translates to in English. Mm. Someone who's a show off, I suppose. But I've always been the kind of person who loves audiences. The bigger the better. <laughs> so yeah, why not? Well, and and, and uh, there's a lot of training when it comes to public speaking, and uh, yeah. so it's, it's quite a, it's quite a craft. But that's now I've noticed yeah. when we started the Maltman. The reason that we started Maltman was because we realised that mm. it was so lacking. Mm-hmm. We didn't really have many avenues to turn to because when we thought, right, we need training to do these simulations, who are we going to go to? Back th- back then, <laughs> I sound old, but. Uh, in, in 2013, there was uh, Young European Federalists, Jeff, and they were more focused on European studies style um, workshops and getting to know more about how the European Union works, so it was very specific. Um, and then there was uh, the English-speaking Union, who do and s- who still f- uh, conduct fabulous workshops, um, and they do do public speaking events and simulations but and then we got cocky and we thought right we can do this ourselves <laughs> but back did. then it was yes we did we were very cocky <laughs> it serves you right in, yes. that, in that regard but it was just them really yeah. and truly so degree plus doing a public speaking workshop that was probably already a good two or three years after we were established mm-hmm. because that's when things like that started to become appreciated mm-hmm. And now even Azat do a lot of public speaking. There's so many now. You can have, there's a choice now. Mm-hmm. Back then we didn't really have that much choice. And I think it's especially important important for young young young, young children. Oh yes, totally. Um, as we were discussing before, I, I'm very much involved in the scout movement, and um, uh, most kids spend so much time um, online or or, or using yeah. the technological gadgets that when it comes to presenting their work. Mm, even if yes. it's if it's uh, within their own um, comfort zone, so for example, they're speaking about a game that they love. Yes, um, it's still very difficult to speak in front of, of 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 their peers, and I think it's I think it's the fear of judgment because um, they know that uh, yes. if they go on social media, the judgment is very cruel. I, I, yes, I think that's the correct roasted. way. It's very um, demeaning, and I think they're rightly so. They are afraid of that. And, and and I think hand in hand with that, I think we have to 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 learn and to teach that we have to treat each other with respect and if uh, giving feedback in the right way, it's yes. very important. Yes, there's no need to, to, to destroy one uh, one no, another no. to give feedback. No, that's true. Um, it that's a it's a mixture of it's a mixture of things. I mean, personality is one thing. I mm-hmm. mean, you do find people who find it incredibly difficult to to be extroverted um so if you already have that i'm not saying you're at a disadvantage but you, there's already one one filter in your way yeah. when you're a teenager and then it's it's worse because obviously w- part of being a teenager is caring so much about what other people think about you um and yes you're right i mean we we do teach kids to be even in schools we teach them to be nice to each other yeah. i mean it's part and parcel of how we teach but mm-hmm. We don't teach them the elements, I think, of how to be nice to each other. It's just up in the ether, be nice to each other. But how? 
Um, so listen actively. We don't really teach active listening, if you notice. I mean, even my students, they're adults. They don't listen to it. They listen to me when, I, when I'm talking. All of them stop what they're doing and they listen. But as soon as one of them starts talking or presenting, they're on their phones. And, you know, that's not active listening. We don't do that. That's how we need to teach that. And in fact, I stop them. I tell them, listen, your, your body language is disgusting. You're putting off the presenter. Please change. Sit up straight. Yeah. Make eye contact with them. Nod, even if you don't know what they're saying. doesn't matter. Switch off. But look like you're listening, at yeah. least. But the value, you um, know, you need to teach these things. I, you might feel that the, since the student is your peer and sort of your equal, there's nothing that they can teach exactly, you. Exactly. So, there's no need to listen. Whatever. So uh, I, I think that that's very... But that's very, the uh, wrong attitude yeah. to take. Even if you're not listening, it doesn't matter. Switch off. Think about your game. Think about where you would much rather be than this classroom. It, it's fine. But at least you're not putting them off what they're saying and making them feel like nobody cares about what they're saying, so it's not important. Mm -hmm. Because that's something else. And even when you're an adult, it still hits you. Oh, no one's listening to me. Am I saying something wrong? Mm -hmm. So you still get doubts. And that's one thing that we do need to teach. It's not just be nice to each other. And then criticism. How do we criticize each other? How can we phrase it politely or nicely? How can we divorce personal attacks from yeah. your point is rubbish, but it's the point that's rubbish, not you? <laughs> yeah. So that's, again, something you need to teach. You need to teach the language for that and the attitude for that. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, components, you need to break things down for, for kids these days, especially these days, because they spend so much time online and mm -hmm. that environment, everything is allowed, everything's permissible, yeah. that they don't learn what's not permissible in the real world. Yeah. And, and it's, it's easy shame. because you you hide behind your profile picture, behind your yes. avatar, because yes. behind yes. Your, Everyone's a cowboy there. your online persona, so yeah. it's very easy to, to shoot a comment like that. Yes, yes, and uh, a lot of people don't consider comments to be writing so they just shoot them off they don't sit there reread edit before posting it they don't consider it to be it's so close to speech they just shoot it off mm. so there's no I, filter it's like a pop-up when you get a, a pop-up in your mind and yes. you, just, you just say you speak yes. your mind it's literally that. literally yes 